Hello people, welcome back to our channel. I am Vaishali. If you have watched the video, you'll know that I'm Vaishali. And if you haven't already, I really recommend that you stop this one. Go watch it first. Yeah. So we have come up with a new video, and this time it's a DIY one. Like basically my favorite thing to do. So for this one, we have chosen something which is trending a lot on the internet and if you live under a rock you might not know this but shell accessory is out there everywhere i've seen it on every website and you know everyone's wearing it i've seen boho girl spill the sass chic factor i think everyone and as, as i scroll a lot on instagram and pinterest it's quiet the rage right now so when I was going through all of this, I thought, why not make it yourself? So as you can see, I made one myself and I quite really like it. So in the video, I'll take you through the process, how to make this one and it's quite easy. If you are a DIY person like me, but yeah, it's quite easy to be really honest. So just let's just dive into the video and you can get one yourself like this. So we'll start with what all you'll need for the DIY. First will be the cowrie shells. Second is the cockle shell. I've spray painted these because I couldn't find anything gold in the market. Then will be the copper wire, jump rings, lobster claps hook, chain and a plier. To start with we'll take two shells and we'll be joining them with a wire. Make sure that your shell has a spacing behind so that we can put the wire inside it. If you'll take the close one, it won't help us in the end. Then we'll take the wire. I'm using a copper wire for this one. And then you take a plier and you can cut it with that. If you are comfortable with using something else to cut the wire, you can do so. I have been comfortable with pliers from a long time, so I prefer using them. Now we'll take the shell and then we'll take the wire and we'll put the wire from behind the shell. And you can see this is how it should look like. And then that extra piece of the wire we'll put it inside the shell that is why we need to have a, an open shell so that in the end the wire is not a problem because the edges can really hurt you on the skin the other end of the wire we'll put it inside the other shell and then again we'll bend the wire like this make sure the edges of the shells are touching each other so that there is not much space between the two and right where the edges are touching you need to bend the wire and take it to behind the other shell there can be extra wire so you can cut it with the plier And then the edge of the wire, you just put it inside the second shell. Yeah, so that's how we'll be joining the shells together. Now we'll take the third one and repeat the same steps we have done for the other two shells. Thank you. 
for the choker you will be needing eight shells to complete it and you can add more or maybe less according to your neck because I tried it on my neck and I needed some eight shells to cover it up yep so we are almost done with the choker yep this is how it should look like so next up we'll be covering the last ends of the shells with the wire again make sure you guys put the edges of the wire inside the shell very precisely so that it doesn't hurt you on the skin you can even use a nose ring plier to put the wires inside it that might be more convenient for you so this is for the first part of our video our choker is complete now we'll jump on to the next part of the video that is our chain. For this part you need to put the chain on you to see that how that how much longer you need it like you might need it more deep you might need it a little on the upper side so you need to put it on your neck and see that how much longer you need it. Then we'll be needing jump rings. Then we'll be needing a lobster claps hook and the cockle shell. First of all take the chain and put it in half. So now we'll take the jump ring and put it right between like the right middle of the chain. And then we'll take the cockle shell and we'll put the cockle shell inside the jump ring. And, the, and then we'll secure the jump ring with the plier. You can use the plier so that it just it's just secured in the end because with the bare hands it won't be possible to do so. This is how it should look like. Then we'll take one of the ends of the chain. And again we'll take the jump ring. Open it and then put it on right on the edge of the chain. And secure it with this plier then take the other edge of the chain and put the jump ring inside the chain and again now we will be putting the lobster claps hook and put it inside the jump ring and again just secure it with a plier so here we go our chain is complete now we come to the third part of the video that is adding the choker to the chain. So you remember the last parts we secured with the wire. Now we'll be using a jump ring to connect the choker and the chain with the help of those wires. You need to put the jump ring where the loop is created with the wire just like this. And then you take one fourth of the chain and put that jump ring inside the chain. You need to put it on your neck to check that where you have to put the choker so that it sits right where it needs to sit. So you need to put 
the jump ring just like this inside the chain and so that you don't make any mistake while putting it on the other side of the chain it will be more convenient if you will just count the chain loops now we will take the other side of the chain take the jump ring and count the chain loops till 30 put the jump ring inside the wire loop again and then repeat it the same way on the other side and again secure it with the plier and there you go your choker is ready the neck piece is ready and this is how it should look like in the end so that's it for the video i hope you really enjoyed it because i really had i had a lot of fun making it plus if you have any suggestions for us please put it down in the comment section below so that we can improve every time we come up with a new video and if you make it i really really love it if you just tag us down on instagram facebook Twitter, wherever so you like because we will be putting the links in the description box below and you can follow us anywhere you want and plus let us know however you liked it and the last and the most important part don't forget to give, give a thumbs up, subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification so you get a notification every time we post a video it will be like it will mean the world to us so please 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 and okay bye bye